Colorado first. Oh, and Dave, that is something we hope they don't have to use much this year. Oh, certainly, uh, certainly uh, true, Dominic. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, with uh, all these windy days that we got around here and the lack of moisture, this may be something that goes all the way into the springtime and early summer around here. Take a look. Here's our look at mountain camera. We are dry again today. A really nice day if we didn't need, need all this moisture. 78 degrees in the city, 65 up there. And look at everybody warming up. Longmont's already at 80. We're 76 in Commerce City, which, by the way, we'll be doing Doing the weather live out in Commerce City in the 5 and the 6 o'clock news this afternoon. So come by and say hi if you're out that way. We'll like, love to see you. Kimberly Novich in uh, Como coming at 61. She says it's breezy up there. Wind is kicking up up to 15 to 20 miles per hour. And we've got a few clouds that are drifting in as well, giving us partly sunny skies across the front range. Partly sunny means a little more cloud cover than sunshine, but the sun does peek through uh, that thin cloud veil we have going on. Now we have a big low that's moving into Portland here. High High pressure moving across the southern Rockies. So we're going to be trapped in between this tomorrow. So we're going to get a strong pressure gradient along with the jet stream that's going to kick up the winds tomorrow. That's the reason why it's a first alert weather day tomorrow because of the wind and the dryness. We might pick up a little bit of rain at the end of the day in some of the northern and uh, northeastern mountains, but far more wind than moisture coming in with this weather setup for the weekend. So here we go tonight into tomorrow. A little breezy. It's breezy out there now, but the wind should start to kick up about 10 a.m. in the morning tomorrow through 9 p.m. in the afternoon up to 40 mile per hour wind gusts and we're going to be in the 80s tomorrow so near record heat so uh, very wise to avoid any activity that might produce a flame or a spark tomorrow here again is the map from Denver out to Burlington here for a fire weather watch in effect for tomorrow this will probably go red flag tomorrow as we get closer to the event and then from Colorado Springs all the way down into southern Colorado and out there in the four corners as well as Western Colorado, they already have a red flag warning because they did not quite see the rain that we saw earlier this week in that southern part of the state. So it'll be uh, really uh, worse down there with up to 45 mile per hour wind gusts kicking up. High temperatures today, 80s down low, and we'll be in the 50s, 60s, and 70s altogether in the mountains and mountain valleys. More specific for you, if you're in Longmont, 82, 81 in Littleton, 81 in Parker, and Elizabeth, you're looking at 77 this afternoon. So for Denver, 82 for the high, partly sunny, much warmer today than it has been 85 tomorrow the records 87 close to that 70s and 80s Sunday through the start of next week we might for Mother's Day Dom get a little chance of a sprinkle maybe a stray thunderstorm but it's only a 10 percent chance so I think Mother's Day is looking pretty good and then after that the next chance of rain will be the following Thursday all right Dave thanks so much mm -hmm. Boulder says it's gonna have to remove a huge cottonwood tree on